my opinion, they have a stronger sense of a separation between church and state. So um, you'd go around and, and talk to a lot of people, and they would be very sensitive to that. If you were on buses trying to talk to people, sometimes you would be asked to not talk to people about God or about religion. They'd say, well, this is a, I don't know the word in English, a laic. Laic is laic. Is that an English word? Um, just meaning that it's, it is like a neutral area. It implies that you're not supposed to talk about religion of any kind. Or, or discuss that. And our, in our mission, our presidents, depending on the mission president, said, well, if they ask you to stop, you stop. You can remind them, well, actually, I do have the right to talk about this, but I'll respect you, just to respect the people, the drivers, and, and things like that of the bus. Um, we weren't supposed to proselyte near other churches and things like that, but um, um, people will love to talk to you, uh, in France about anything, um, about all their problems and about how hard life is. They'll open up and tell you anything pretty much. Um, but the moment you bring up God, a lot of people will shut right off and they'll, they'll kind of back off. Um, I think a lot of the anti-religion sentiment that, I don't think that it's all over France. I don't think that's a fair stereotype, but a lot that, that you do see um, comes from the French Rebellion um, when they had their independence that they didn't like the Catholic Church anymore and they were really against um, a lot of the things that the Catholic Church had been doing and that's all that they knew was this sort of oppression and um, so people now they, they're they either a lot of people are either uh, strong Catholic believing families they tend to be the older parents um, uh, they might be another religion, you know, another Christian religion denomination, or, uh, they'll be, you know, atheist. Um, and of course you have your mixture of, um, Islam and, um, Jewish populations in there. And Islam is a very large religion in France because they have so many immigrants from the Middle East and from North Africa. But um, just a lot of the Christian population, they're, they're dissatisfied with, with the religion, you know, that they have. And in my experience, um, people, the reason that it comes across so angry a lot of the time in France is that people are scared. They're upset. They're mad at God. Um, a lot of people ask, well, if God was really here... Oh, why are there so many starving children or so many people on the streets? And in France, you really see that. There are homeless people everywhere you go, just everywhere, and so many people that smoke. And it's just that people, they, they have hard lives, and uh, they need the gospel, but a lot of people, they're a little bit prideful, and uh, they're a little bit bitter. And so I don't think I would say that France is that different than other missions. I think other people might say that, but I think that every area of the world has their own problems, and um, France has that. You know, maybe if you think of Provo, people know everything about the church already. They've already been talked about, or talked to about the church, so f for that reason, they might be closed off. But in France, it's, it's a different reason, and um, I, I honestly believe that, you know, our faith is what helps get the results of, of missionary work. People have agency, and we can't deny that, but um, God gives us miracles, and He prepares people, and I know that that's true.